guys let's learn how to draft an a line gown thank you hi guys welcome to my worst tissues today we'll be learning how to draft a line dress with a cold shoulder gather sleeve guys thank you for watching and please like and subscribe we'll be working with boss 44 hip 44 chest line 10 inches shoulder 16 inches and the full length of this gown is going to be 42 inches guys for you to get a perfect a-line dress my fabric is folded into two right now you're going to fold it like so like so you're going to fold it like so. Now is unfold by four. If you want your airline dress to be full, you can fold it separately. You can fold the front line separate from the back. Or the more fabric, the more fold you get, the more fuller your a line will be for my hairline i don't want it to be too full so i'm going to be folding it like so now guys we're going to be working with bust 44 so for you to get your perfect measurements before you start putting in the measurements you have to measure if your thing is going to be okay now for my shoulder to my bust point is 12. I will check if I have up to 13 inches. It's not up to 13 inches, so I have to bring it further. So make sure it got it gives me that 13 inches. Now I'm cutting 13 inches. From my boss uh point from my shoulder to my hip is 25 inches. Now I'll come over to the 25 inches where I have the mark and Major, if I have up to 13 inches, I have more than 13 inches, so this is good to go, guys. Once you're sure of those measurements, you can now come and take all your measurements. I will start here with my shoulder line. You will now put in your shoulder line, like so. I'm working with shoulder 16, 16 divided by 2 is going to give us 8 inches. So I will mark it like so. I'm going to mark it like so. And I'm working with the chest line 10 inches. So I will come down here by 10 inches. Like so. And I'm working with hip 25. So I'll be marking hip 25. I'll be marking hip 25. Like so. I'm coming with my shoulder line. Like so. Guys, here we'll be going in with the ham hole measurements. We'll come down here by one inches. 
to take her that. We come here by one inches to take our shoulder slope. I'm going to be taking my shoulder slope like so. Then here, what will be remaining is nine inches. Nine divided into two is four and a half. I'll come in here and mark four and a half. I'll come in by five inches like so. And I will use my handhold for my handhold for to connect the dots from the top to the handhold like this to get my handhold. Like you see me do. Guys, I will now measure my chest bust measurement. I will now put in my bust measurement, which is 13 inches. Because I'm working with bust 44. 44 divided by 4 is going to give us 11 inches plus 2 inches for her allowance for his. I will now mark it my bust like so. I will come to the hip and then I will now also measure 13 inches for the hip. Like so. And I will now connect these two lines to give it a perfect shape. To give it a perfect shape. To give it a perfect shape. I will then come in with my neckline. I'll be working with depth 3 inches and the width of the neckline is going to also be 3 inches because I want a round neck. I will use my tampo curl to curl a perfect round neck like so. Guys, at this point, we are ready to cut out our inline gown. Our dress is ready as you can see our beautiful airline gown is ready I will then go in to do the joining I will then go in to do the joining as you can see the dress I hope you can see it well I will be joining like so I will join these two place I will join this place like so, down, fold the down, like so, we fold it, I fold this down, like so, fold it, like so, fold the other side, I will also come this way, I will also come this way, and join from the half hole, down to the down side of the gown, I also fold the other side, we are going to be cutting an interface for this neckline. If you don't know how to cut an interface, check our videos. We're going to be cutting an interface. Guys, to make a gather stitch, to make a gather stitch, I've gone ahead to fold in here one inch 
and also fold the other side of it one inch. You will get an elastic band, get a office pin, and you fix it in like so. You fix it in like so. Once you fix, look at the safety pin with the elastic band. You fix it in like so. You make sure it is straight, and then you put in your you put in your elastic band and keep dragging it. Drag it until you, you get to the mouth of this side. Once you get to this side, for it not to go further, you have to pin it or sew it so that it will not move while you continue dragging the rest. Like so. Guys, once you get to the other mouth of this, look at it. You've gotten your gather stitch. That is if you want to use the elastic. You can also do the gather stitch by sewing it on the sewing machine and gather it. But I will be using an elastic band to do the gather. Now, you also sew at this edge. And make sure it is the length that you want before joining it to the sleeve. You will go down and do exactly the same to this downside. That is the perfect way of getting it. Like this one now is already done. You've gotten this one here. It's already done. Here too. It's already done. So it's just for us to go in and join the sleeve. Guys, so get an interface for the clothes. All you need to do is just to get a fabric of the same clothes like this, and then arrange the neckline of the dress top or whatever you are sewing. Just place it on top of the fabric. Just place it on top of the fabric. Like so. Place it on top of the fabric and trace. Trace. Like so. Trace. Trace like so. You will just trace to make sure everything is accurate. You can decide to work with the length 4 inches, 6 inches. All has going to all that is going to be your choice. But me, I will be working with 4 inches. You trace it like so. And you cut it out. That will give you a perfect interface for whatever you're sewing. Now, once you drag out the interface, you will use it right face, right face facing right side facing the right side you use it to turn it you turn it like so you turn it you're going to be you're going to be stitching right side right side facing the right side like so you stitch it and you turn it 
guys here is the finished product thank you for watching today's tutorial god bless you